Hi everyone, this is the introduction presentation for Sociology 364, Social Change, the web section. Uh, my name is Dr. Maria Biskup and you can see my emails um, listed there. So a little about me. As I said, my name is Dr. Maria Biskup. I'm an adjunct assistant professor of sociology. I got my PhD in sociology from CUNY Graduate Center in 2011. And the best way to ever get in touch with me is through my email mbiscop at york.cuny.edu or mbiscop at gradcenter.cuny.edu. For the spring 2019, um, my office will be in Academic Core Building, room 3A02. And my office hours are at, on Wednesdays from 10 to 11 a.m. and by appointment. Uh, my little about me, my <laughs> what I love to do is teaching, reading, and I love dogs. Okay, so main issues we will cover in this course. What exactly is social change? How does it shape societies and the lives of individuals? And how do we respond to these changes? So throughout this course, we will critically analyze the structural and cultural changes in community and society, the rate, degree, mechanisms, and planning of change, as well as some major theories of social change. Social movements historically have been a major catalyst for change. Think about the civil rights movement, the feminist movement, the Occupy Wall Street movement, or even the very recent Black Lives Matter or Me Too movements, and how they shape the society in which we live today. So, um, in terms of required readings, um, because this is an online course, all readings are available for you on Blackboard, so each week you will see a course reading folder that will contain reading or readings for that particular module or week. Um, you can also find a complete bibliography for this course in the syllabus. And um, just please note that uh, most of the reader, uh, readings are in PDF format, so to read them you will need Adobe Reader, which you can download for free online. In terms of course requirements, all students in this course are required to have an access to computer with internet connection and active Blackboard account. That's where our course will take place. Um, you have to know assignments, their due dates, and submit all your coursework on time because late assignments are penalized 10% or one grade for being late. And after one day late, they can no longer, um, I, I, your assignments can no longer receive points and there's no exception to this rule. All assignments are posted on Blackboard and include um, blog discussion and individual paper on social change, and they can also be found in the syllabus. Um, so a little more on these assignments. Each week you will be asked to complete a reading or readings, um, read notes or watch lectures that accompany um, the readings, participate in weekly class discussion, and post your response to prompt questions in your weekly blog. Um, to get credit for a discussion forum, you must make at least one comment of um, 80 words and at least one reply to your colleague's post of um, at least 60 words. Um, each blog response should be 80 words, and you can find more information about weekly discussion forums and blogs in the syllabus. Um, the individual paper. So this paper will be completed in stages, and you will receive feedback from me after completion of this stage. So first, you will have to choose a topic or phenomenon and that you want to write about it, that you want to write about and submit a paragraph about it, which is due February 21st. Then an annotated bibliography will be created with at least six sources, which will be due March 14th. Um, the next step is the outline, which will be due um, on April 11th. First draft with six references will be due May 2nd, and um, your final draft will be submitted on um, May 15th. You can find more information about specifics of this assignment in the syllabus or on Blackboard. Um, you can go to um, the writing assignment section. Um, here's assignments, point values, and due dates. So most assignments will be due on Thursdays at um, the minute before midnight. Um, you will have 13 weekly blogs this semester, 11 weekly discussions, paper topics, annotated bibliography, outline, first draft, and final draft. You can see the total um, point value and that is associated with um, with each assignment and you can see all the due dates are listed as well. Um, so as you saw um, the total amount of points you can get in this class is 463. Um, your grades are based on accumulation of points um, so points are based on completion of the following assignments weekly blogs, um, class discussions, and individual paper on aspects of social change. All grades will be posted on Blackboard in the gradebook and you can find more information on grading and see the grading rubric in the syllabus. Um, here is just um, you know the standard grading um, scale. 
so you can see what your letter grade um, might be depending on you know the range and the points that you get so student behavior please be prompt be ready to learn and log into the class site on blackboard at least three times a week be prepared so read all the materials and know your due dates be a polite and positive participant uh, participant so in discussions write in a normal tone of voice Listen to what others say and be polite with your classmates. Be productive. Turn on, um, turn in your work on time and always do your best. And read the text and assign articles because you cannot pass this course without doing so. Um, show respect. So value yourself. Be honest and eth ethical and practice strong moral values. Treat all members of the class with politeness and respect. Honor the ideas and opinions of others. Of course, we can disagree with one in, with, with one another, but we have to be nice about it. And um, when you can, offer to help your classmates. Um, make sure that you have a correct email um, address listed in Blackboard because when I send the class email messages, I only use the email address that is um, that you have um, in Blackboard. If you are not receiving my email messages, check the tools section and personal information to see which email address you have listed on Blackboard. If you need to change your contact information or your email, please contact the help desk at your college and someone should be able to help you. So my pledge to students, I will respect you and work with you to solve problems. I will promptly correct and offer feedback on your work. I will work with you to meet your learning goals and I will respond to your email messages within 24 to 48 hours. If you need to call me, you can reach me at home at 347-866-9702 between the hours of 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. Please do not call outside of these hours. And finally, after you listen to this presentation, please check out the rest of the course on Blackboard. Click around to see the syllabus, the readings, and find out more about the assignment. If you have any questions about the course, if something is unclear, feel free to email me or go to this um, Maddie's Points um, tab, which is um, a special, special discussion forum that I set up for questions that you have with this um, with um, with this course. I will be mon monitoring this forum and will reply to your questions as soon as possible, usually within 24 to 48 hours, if not earlier. And finally, I look forward to working with you throughout the semester. Okay, let's start working together.